buddy, it's Sid. Um, I'm working on an Iron Man comic book cover commission. And I put some speckling down. The dots were a little heavy. So I want to lighten them up a bit so they don't stick out and paint so bad. I don't want to rub them because then they'll smear. I don't want to do that. So just tamping them down with a paper towel. Let's see. I'm going for a real um, sunset kind of look around them. All I did was I took a picture of Iron Man and I chopped it out of the piece that I was uh, using as reference to use as a, as a mask over the top of this. You could see on, if you, I don't know if you can see here, but my edges, they don't really line up all that fantastic. Some of them are a little off, but I, I'm not worried about that at all. All I want to really want to do is make sure that I have enough contrast between the main character and the background. And this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be a warm piece. Almost like a sunset background. <clears throat> Using golden acrylics here. And just kind of freehanding it through. I'll tighten it up a little later with color pencils. Not really much to this uh, as far as sculpting goes with the airbrush. There's really not much to it. I want to mix a lighter orange, so I'm going to use whatever yellow was left in my cup, and then I'm going to just give it a little back pressure with the air to, to mix it. Test my color. I like that. I'm also work into that yellow that I laid down a little bit more. Give me a little bit more of my sunset that I'm looking for. I'm going to test that. Yeah, it looks alright. I think that'll work. Oh, let me try a little bit around here too. Took a couple days off from really doing anything meaningful because because I was um that's just there just kind of dry it up a little bit. Um, what are you feeling too good? Got a little little um I don't know if I had a bug or or what. Alright, I'm going to hit this with a, just a little bit of ultramarine blue. Just kind of a purplish blue. Just around the edges. what that did for me. Oh yeah. Not too shabby.
Now I want to come in with just a touch of phthalo blue across the top here. And maybe just a little bit of a purple. All I'm using there to clean this is water and a Q-tip to kind of swoosh it around on the inside, get all that residue off the sides of the cup. And then just spraying it into a little trash can that I have off to the side here. Alright, this is a yellow oxide. I just want to kind of freehand a dividing line here. I'm getting ready to do the uh, the art capture uh, group on Facebook is doing a uh, is doing a um, Star Wars challenge piece for the month of August. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking votes on what character I should do, and I'll be working that uh, Sunday. While I'll take my last vote on Sunday at some point. And then I'll, um, you know, I'll be cranking on a full painted piece. Whichever uh, gets the most votes is going to get done. Yeah, I still got quite a bit of work to do on this guy, but you can see I'm going to have to, since it's all warm colors at this point, minus you know, the, the cool colors up top, it's going to take a little bit of work to, to bring out the, uh, the character from the background. So, um, because this is cardstock and, and this paint really, really tends to, to um, give you a, a layer on top of the cardstock, it's a bit of soaking into the board. So it, uh, it needs a little bit of time to dry. Otherwise, the color pencils, they don't, uh, they don't go over too well. Um, you know, I guess kind of like, let me see. I know there's a white hot line through here. So they, they come out pretty light, which I'm not too thrilled with, but I might have to switch to the paintbrush and work it that way. But I think first what I want to do is I just want to let this um, let this dry up nice. That way it's easier to work. Maybe uh, once it's dry, I'll put a little spritz of uh, workable fixative so I have the pencil has something to bite into, and I'll play with that there. Um, and that way uh, the the pencil has a little easier um, time at, at, of uh, covering over what I've got here with the acrylic paint. Oh.
I thought I'd show you this piece. This is a, um, let's see. I've got the image on uh, on Facebook. You can check me out there. It's Sid Lajones. Um But this was a, a commission for a cousin of mine that uh, is in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. And uh, she likes the uh, Day of the Dead theme. So uh, I did a little, a nice little uh, Day of the Dead composition, all original art uh, for her. So all i got to do now is uh, get it put together and, and uh, mailed out. But... I like it. I thought she came out pretty nice. I've done a few Day of the Dead pieces. Usually when I do, um, I started a small series of my own where the face wasn't painted as a skull. It was an actual skull on a human body. So, uh, you know, my own little Day of the Dead theme. Um, no uh, no paint on there at all. Just, like I said, just the uh, just the the skull. You know, she still had all her hair. Uh, and the body was uh, was humanoid or was human, not humanoid, um, but uh, so like with this one I just, it's the same, you know, concept I've been using with the gray paper and the uh, black and white color pencils and a little bit of acrylic paint and on this one I put a few, um, a few highlights in here with the airbrush just to kind of give it a little extra shine. It, I thought it came out pretty nice. Uh, prints will be available for this one on my Facebook and uh, I also um, oh I've been meaning to get um, a PayPal account set up and I finally did that so um, I I'm, think I'm finally going to start uh, posting art on auctions on uh, eBay but uh, you're more than welcome to, uh, to hit me up on Facebook and um, pick up a piece of original art or a uh, request a commission from me. I'm always open to commissions. You can request a commission from me on Facebook or uh, even a me as a message here on uh, on YouTube. Uh, that's fine, and then I can uh, send you the link for my PayPal account. But uh, I appreciate all you watching and commenting and sharing and liking my my videos. I know it's been a while since I put one out, and this one's been kind of weak because I haven't really done much. But uh, you know, like I said, I've got a Star Wars piece coming up, and that's going to be a lot of a lot of painting on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, that piece as a video for YouTube. Um, I'll I'll do, try to do it in stages, where I'll do the drawing in one video, and then I'll do the uh, the uh, the basic layout of the uh, color work on one another video, and then I'll do the the detailing uh, in the in the last video on that. But uh, I think that's about it for right now. I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out again. Thanks a lot.